Hey everyone, my name is Michael from Hustle Sheets and I want to show you how to use date ranges inside the query formula today. So basically we have a set of data here with a date range in column K and then I only want to select all of the data that's within these two date ranges, right? So I have a start date, end date, and you can see here I can just click into this calendar and then I can change the date to whatever and it's only going to show the games that are being played within that date range. So it's a really simple formula. Let me show you guys how it's how, how to write it. So I'm going to delete everything. And then I'm going to type in equals query. And then I'm going to select all of my data. I'll just select that and erase the, the row number. Comma, quotation mark, select asterisk, which means select everything, where my date is in column K. So I'm going to write where K is uh, less than... Oh, it's greater or equal to because the first um, thing is my start date. So I want everything that's greater or equal to whatever is over here. And then you have to basically put in this formula that I put up top. It says it's the date. It's declaring that it's a date and then it's a text formula. So what I do is I just save it into my notepad and then I copy it whenever I need it. And then I just paste it into the formula here. So I'm going to paste that in. Now, right now, uh, if you look here at references cell A1, you want to change it to wherever your wherever your date ranges, wherever your date is. So in this case, for me, the start date is in B4. So I'm going to type B4. I'm going to go to the end and type and K is less than or equal to my end date. And then I'm going to paste in the same formula. My end date's in cell B5. So I'm going to type in B5 and then add a quotation mark and a parentheses and then press enter. So there you have it. It's really simple. Um, just basically make sure that you save this text somewhere um, and then just, just use it whenever you need to use this formula. So now you can just change the date and then it's automatically going to pull that data. All right, guys, um, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions about it and make sure to subscribe if you guys want to see more tutorials like this. Thank you.